Hello everyone, this is Jason Fain from Instructional Design and Development at UTSA and today I'm going to talk about adding course content tools to your learning modules. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Again, I'm going to review on how you get into editing your learning modules. You have to be in the build view and then you're going to select learning modules from your course tools. So I'm going to go ahead and select learning modules here. And again, I'm going to go into learning module 1 because that's the one I've been doing all my tutorials in. Again, you can view the YouTube video that I've already done, and you can also see my module introduction and guide. So now the next thing we're going to talk about is adding tools. And you might want to know what tools are, so I'm going to go ahead and describe your course tools are things like your discussion board, your assessments, your assignments, any of the Wimba Live Classroom tools, any of those tools you can add in here as well. So I'm going to first get into, let's say, adding a discussion board. So if I go to Add Content Link, it will show me all the variety of tools that I have. And you can see the discussions, you can see the live classroom, uh, you can see chat area, assessments, assignments, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and select Discussions. Now once that's here, it'll let me select from a discussion that's already been created. That's the Select from Inventory. So if I wanted to, I can select your welcome introductions uh, discussion, or I can create my own discussion topic. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch and create my own discussion topic. So I'm going to click Create Discussion Topic. This will take me to the Discussion Creation page. And what I'm going to do is just make this a standard uh, threaded topic. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to have to give it a title, so I'm just going to say um, what learning modules. And then I can go ahead and also give it a description. And this one I'm going to ask for input back, and it might be something like based on the tutorials and information you received in class and online what is your opinion of learning modules and another thing I'm gonna do here again this is the great thing about the HTML editor is it's spell check my spellings terrible so I'll go ahead and switch that to received and basically you just go through the same process of creating a discussion as you normally would you can give it grades you can do all that stuff we have a uh, very specific tutorials on discussions and you can view that at any time as well so for now I'm going to go ahead and click save and you'll see my discussion topic in there now another thing I might want to add uh, as far as the content link goes is maybe I want to add uh, an assessment or an assignment. So let's go ahead and add an assessment. And you can see these have already been created. I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these. So let's do the, I don't know, initial Blackboard quiz. Add selected. And you can see that the quiz I've already created is now linked in within this learning module. Now you won't see it as a student because you can see it's hidden. So again, remember we can always use these action links and just do show item. So uh, it looks like my quiz is empty so students won't be able to view it. But anyways, this is the way you would start adding assessments to your learning modules. And now one last thing that I would like to show you how to add is a file from your desktop. So there's going to be three things that we're going to be talking about here. One of them is adding the content link and the other one's going to be adding your own files. So when we're talking about adding your own files, one of the important things is that it's web accessible and one of those type of formats is the PDF format. So I'm going to browse for files and then I'm going to wait for this to finish loading because it needs to go to my computer. Okay, there we go. And now I can select my computer and then select this PDF file that I've created. So rubric for self concept talk .pdf. I can click open and you can see it also puts that PDF file into my learning module. So we've discussed how to use the add content link to add course tools to your learning module. And we've also discussed how to add a file from my computer into your learning module. So if you have any PDF documents, that's how you would be adding them. With that said, this concludes our tutorial on adding content to your learning module.